Welcome to this morning yoga in bed practice. My name is Suzanne Lawson. So come to lie on your back, bring your arms up with your head, keep your head on your pillow, and just to point your feet and just start to focus on your inhale and your exhale. Really starting to bring some energy up through the body from the bottom of your feet all the way up through the legs to the tops of the hands, fingertips, focusing on relaxing the back and then bend your knees, bring them in towards your chest, flex your feet and just maybe just wiggle the toes, bring your hands to your knees And just take a moment to do some gentle circles one way and then the other way just bringing some movement into the hips and then extend the left leg down onto the bed and bring your fingertips behind the top of your knee it's behind your leg you just want to interlace those fingers and then just let that right foot just dangle and then start to bring some movement into the right ankle turning the toes one way and then the other way and then let's move to the knee so you won't get much of a rotation here just a slight movement one way and the other And then start to rotate the hip, so drawing the knee in towards the chest and then away from you, one way and then the other. Drawing the knee in towards the chest and then see if you can straighten that right leg any amount flexing and pointing the toes, bending and straightening the leg, just bringing some mobility into the leg, into the hip joint and then maybe if it feels good take your hands a little bit further down so just aiming for the ankle or the back of the leg here and then if it feels good, take a hold of the big right toe with the right hand and see if you can just draw that leg up as far as you can, taking the left arm out away from you, palm facing up. So your right leg is going to your right, left arm away from you, but you want to be keeping both hips down on the ground on your bed. So just moving back and forward with this, just notice where you're feeling any tension and then bring your left hand to your toes and take that onto the outside of your right foot, so left foot onto the outside of your left foot and then draw that knee over to the left and then just draw the right knee in to your chest bring the left leg to meet and just circle the hips one way and the other way extending the right leg down now taking your clasp, your hands clasped behind your left knee, rotating the left ankle one way and then the other way and then the knee one way and then the other way, just a slight movement and then the hip, so drawing that leg in and round 
one way and the other way. Moving with breath. If you're looking at the screen, I'm actually being attacked by my dogs who will just not leave me alone in the morning at all. Drawing that leg up and away from you now, bringing some flexion into the leg, keeping that left foot flexed, extending the left leg up towards the ceiling, taking your hands further down your calf, if that feels good, flexing the toes. And then taking that left leg all the way down to the left as far as it will go and your right arm away from you. Breathe. Keeping both hips down on the bed, both shoulder blades down on the bed. And then come back to centre with your left leg, point and flex the toes. And now see if you can take hold of your left leg with your right arm. Left arm comes down on the mat. And take that left leg over to the right. Opening up the outer hip, the outer glutes. Breathing in and breathing out. Coming back to centre. Take it easy, flex and point. So now come back to lie fully on your back, legs outstretched, arms up above, point and flex the toes. Breathing in, breathing out and now flex the feet up. Bring your right knee up, so right foot on the bed, knee bent, and bring your left ankle over your right knee. Flexing that left foot fully to protect the knee. You can stay here if this is comfortable for you this morning. Just try and visualize someone pushing that left knee away from your midline. If you want more, lift the right foot off the bed, left arm through the hole between your legs and then you interlace the fingers behind that right knee, right thigh. Flexing both feet, drawing in towards your chest, keeping the hips down and relaxed and breathe. Maybe do a few circles when you're in this position. That can feel quite nice, releasing any tension from the evening sleep. And then relax the right foot back down. Keep a hold of your left foot with your right foot. And just give your toes a little massage. Really pressing your thumb into the little toe, the next one, all the toes. That big toe where the toe joins onto the foot. That's a wonderful pressure point for headaches. And then release the left foot back down. And we'll do the other side. So right ankle on left knee, allowing that hip to open. Just let it relax, let gravity do the work. Breathing in and breathing out. And then if you want more, lift the left foot off your bed. Interlace your fingers behind your knee. Flex both feet and breathe.
maybe do some rotations. Notice if that feels any different from the other side. One way, then the other way. And then relax that left foot down. Now take your right toes, give them a little bit of a massage. Pressing into each toe, especially the big toe. Really good for the head, releasing any tension. Good for the eyes and the ears and the nose. Maybe massage the foot slightly and the ankle. Let's take your time waking up the body. And then relax that right foot back down. And then we're going to come into a little bit of a twist. So come over onto your left side. So once you're on your left side, use your pillow, so put your head on your pillow and bring your knees up to your chest so your knees are bent. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to take that right arm up in the air and then you're going to take it back in space behind you. But you don't want to be lifting the left shoulder blade off the bed. Take your gaze over to the right if that feels good. If not, you can just gaze up ahead. Whatever feels good for your neck. This could also be quite strenuous on the shoulder, so just take it easy. If you want more props, you can put a prop under your right arm. If you want deeper stretch, bring the knees further up the bed. And if you want a lesser stretch, take your knees further away towards the bottom of the bed. Just allowing the muscles in the ribs to start to stretch and then bring yourself all the way around back onto your back and we go straight over to the right side so drawing that right arm up and away from you Taking the gaze over the shoulder or up towards the ceiling. Whatever feels good. Heidi's decided that she just wants a cuddle this morning, so... I can't really get rid of her at the moment if you're looking at the screen. So allowing those hips to relax and any tension in the spine. Then unwind, come back to centre. Just drop your knees in together for a moment, feet wider than hip width. And then slowly, we're going to come into a posture on our front. So you want to take your pillow and take it on the long edge now. And you're just going to lie down. Start off on the left side first. So you're going to lie down on your left side. Prop your head on your arm. And you're going to take your right arm behind you and just grab a hold of your wrist. Then you want to bend the left leg and extend the right leg. So you're just starting to really stretch out the spine, stretch out the hip, and really stretch out the shoulders here. So drawing that upper arm up and away from you. Breathing in and breathing out. Sending your breath to your back ribs. 
and then unwind and we'll do the other side so coming onto your right bring your right knee up towards your chest left leg extends and then bring your left arm up and over just clasp the hands however that feels whichever way you want to so you're aiming here to bring that left shoulder blade back and down your body drawing that left leg away from you may want to point and flex the foot and then roll over onto your tummy so you want to be on your pillow here with your head off the pillow so sort of the your clavicle areas on the pillow but your head is off so relax the hips just relax the head and then you're going to just slightly start to lift the head away from the mat drawing the shoulder blades down switch on the core lifting higher as you come up drawing in pressing the feet into the bed there was that might lift the knees off the mat and then release so just bringing a nice gentle stretch into the back so now we'll come into another variation so clasp the hands behind the back now drawing the shoulder blades down the back lift the feet off the floor drawing those shoulder blades all the way down opening up the front body keep your head straight looking down so you don't have any tension in your neck well done and release just make a little pillow with your hands bend your knees windscreen wiper the legs just to release any tension in the back and then slowly push yourself all the way up and come all the way back through maybe bring your pillow with you take your knees as wide as you can just come into an extended child's pose just a passive pose here so allowing the elbows to relax just allowing the heart to melt into the bed allowing your rib cage to relax and then we'll just come to sit on our pillow cross-legged to greet the day to set our intention for today Let's take a moment palms together namaste thank you so much for your morning yoga in bed practice i do hope you found this beneficial